Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I do it for the fam. Trying to put food on my table going ham. PYT says she knows who I am. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Mike or Geekermon bringing you another Destiny video, and today we are going to be looking at the Defender subclass. So, first and foremost, I'm going to be using the Hawksaw and the Matador. Typical meta, but it's going to be easy to kind of display the strengths of this class. And exotic wise, if you're going to run Defender, I would put on no backup plans or possibly the Helm of Saint 14, which blinds people as they come into your bubble. Those are probably your two best options for exotics. The Feedback Fence is also another great option. It helps you win those melee fights that you normally would tie or trade on, and so that's a great exotic to use as well. As far as intellect, discipline, and strength go, you're welcome to run whatever you want. When I run Defender, I usually run intellect and strength because you want your force barrier melee to be up, especially if you're running a shotgun with no backup plans, and intellect so you can get your Ward of Dawn. Alright, let's jump into the subclass. So with Defender, I use the Suppressor Grenade. This is an amazing grenade that can shut down almost any super in the game immediately. It really gives you an advantage, especially in game modes like Trials of Osiris. You could throw this down when somebody pops their Hammer, their Titan Smash, their Storm Trance, Arc Blade, whatever it might be, and get them out of their super. It's basically a mini tether. It's just a wonderful grenade to run. With Titans, if you want to do Titan Skating, I would use Increased Control. That's going to be the go-to. It definitely gives you the best movement uh, laterally when you're trying to get across the map. With this, you could also use the Twilight Garrison. If you weren't planning on using no backup plans, say you were sniping with your bubble, then you would put on the Twilight Garrison, and that would give you a great movement combination. For PvP, when it comes to Ward of Dawn, I would definitely recommend you use Armor of Light. When you're in the bubble, you become borderline invincible. Now you're not. If two guys push in with shotguns and they shotgun melee, you're probably going to die. But you will see in a lot of my videos where I take down three, even four enemies inside the bubble because they just can't do the amount of damage it takes to kill me when Armor of Light is procced. It's a great perk and I definitely would recommend you guys put this on. So for the melee, there's two options, but one that I really lean toward. War Machine makes your weapons reload and ADS and handling all extremely fast. The other option is Unbreakable, which your Force Barrier continues to recharge, which is nice because it heals it up and allows you to have full Force Barrier for a long period of time. But War Machine is definitely the way to go if you're running a shotgun because your reload speed will be most likely worth it. Okay, so as far as all Titans go, you're going to want to focus on armor and recovery and get your agility as close as you can to zero. If you're Titan skating and floating above the ground, then your agility does not matter. It only matters when your feet are touching the ground. So with that, I would put on Titan Codex 1 and Titan Codex 5. This really maxes your armor and your recovery, helps you survive a lot of situations, and you're not really affected by the minimum agility. Now this next perk took me a while to decide. A lot of the times I ran Bastion, which makes the Ward of Dawn last even longer, but in the long run I use Relentless because it combos so well with your Force Barrier and the no backup plans and your shotguns that it makes you an absolute beast when you have Force Barrier active. You can shotgun somebody, trigger your Force Barrier, and then work your way through the opponents with an amazing amount of armor. So with that, I would recommend Relentless. And for the last perk, you need to be running Untouchable. This makes your bubble take less time to generate. In PvP, this is great because if you're capturing zones, playing Trials of Osiris, whatever it might be, even if your intellect is not maxed, you can have a quick bubble and get that back up so that you can help support your teammates more efficiently. The other two options just aren't great. Uh, heavy weapon kills have chance to create orbs. This would be good, but it doesn't really matter because there's not a lot of time spent with heavy ammo in the game. And especially in sixes, your teammates are not following right behind you to always pick up your orbs. So it does very little to help your team. And lastly, Illuminated only really affects blessings and weapons of light. So if you're running Armor of Light, then this perk is essentially useless to you. So with that, that is how I would run the Defender class. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure and smash that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes, guys. That would be amazing. And if you want to see more Destiny content like this, make sure you subscribe to join the Geek Squad. 
Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next Destiny video. Peace.